So before we jump in to the weekly vlog, I do need to thank the sponsor, and that is Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Stand out with a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything. Your products, content you create, and even your time. Display posts from your social profiles on your website. Automatically push website content to your favorite social media channels so your followers can share it too. Create a community on your Squarespace website with a fully integrated commenting system that supports threaded comments, replies, and likes. Use their powerful blogging tools to categorize, share, and schedule your posts as well. With Squarespace scheduling, clients can quickly view your availability and book their own appointments or classes. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you are ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Olivia Reads a Latte to save 10% off your first domain or website. Exit poll showed that six... Okay, this is random, but I just was looking at my case and my stickers again today and I was like, dang. The taste! Like, I just think this is so cute. Like, the little books, then these fashion girls, and then, you know, Ghostface, and then a Pumpkin Spice, some cats, a Marvel reference, this cute little pop socket. This is from Etsy. Let me just do this rundown because every time... <laughs> okay, Redbubble. Scribble Prints Co. Uh, remarkably Rach on Etsy. I do not recall this one uh, at all, or these two actually. The, they're on Etsy, but I don't remember the shop. Redbubble, and then this was also on Etsy. I just searched clay pop socket. But I just feel like my Kindle is the cutest, and I don't think anyone else's is as good. And um, also, <laughs> as I say that, I have been thinking about getting a different Kindle because my Oasis, this is the Kindle Oasis, by the way, it's slowing down a lot for me. Um, like the page turning isn't as fast, and even when I reset it, it doesn't last as long as it used to, and the battery is starting to go out. And that's what happened to the last one, and I just upgraded to the newest Oasis. I saw the sage green paper white, and sage green is my favorite color, and so I was thinking, well, green's my favorite color, but whatever. I was thinking about getting that one, but I don't know, guys. What do you think I should do? I won't do it this week. I'll wait to see what the people say, but I feel like I want to because it's already running down. It's kind of like, why not? I guess I could wait for a sale, though. I do love a good sale. I kind of don't buy anything unless it's on sale, <laughs> actually, but still, yeah, let me know, but I love, look at this, specifically this little pop socket. It's so cute. Storm Chaser Liv is back. Look at it, guys. Oh, it's beautiful. Also, let me turn the brightness back up so you can see the beautiness. The beautiness? Okay. Of this leaf. Look, we have a new one coming in. So now we have one, two, three, and then four on here. Yes, I accidentally sprayed mud on the house. Don't even look at it. Um, I guess little homie died. And then this is the new leaf on here. Look how big and beautiful that freaking leaf is. Are you Nick Freddie kidding me? Look at There's this plant. She's got it together. These, like the parents are getting divorced. The kids are picking sides. Like, I don't know what's going on. Why are these all like trying to get away? <laughs> They're like, I gotta go. Happy family, marital problems. I don't know. What to do for that? Do y'all have any recommendations? Let me know. But this little one is so beautiful. I love it so much. I was gonna bring these inside, but honestly, they're kind of thriving right now. And we have our littlest storm chaser, Miss Annabeth. Um, she has made the water dirty whilst I was gone. So I'm gonna go get her new water and get her some food. But she wants to say hi. She mainly wants to look at her. She's looking right at me like, girl, you woke me up. Now come give me food.
Good morning, everybody. Um, it is a hangout in bed kind of day, let me tell you. And so I have some library books that are due tomorrow, so I need to finish them today. I actually already finished the other one that's due tomorrow, but I have this one, The Last Heir of the Blackwood Library, and I need to finish it today. I'm only on chapter seven, you can see. I am not that far into it, but it's only 300 pages and I'm 65 pages in, so I definitely think that I can get it done. So that's what I'm going to spend the morning doing. Um, it's only 9 a.m., but I have a headache from hell itself. <laughs> I was like, what's the best term? No, that's all. That's that's true. It's hell itself. Um, and it sucks, but I want to read this so that I can go return these books tonight, actually. So wish me luck and I will see you on the other side. Yes, hopefully. Hopefully I will. Hello guys, I'm turning down Miss Emily D. Baker and my earphones, but um, I am here to let you know, unfortunately, we're DNFing a book, and it is The Last Heir to the Blackwood Library. It is just snooze freaking fest. The thing is, I'm 100 pages in, only one spooky thing has happened, and now it's as dead as the ghosts. Like, it, there's nothing happening. It's just her complaining about not having a music machine. <laughs> or a phone, which I get that. Actually, I could do without my phone. But the music machine, I can understand that. But I just um, found out I don't care. Like, I just don't care about this book and what's happening, which is sad because I was really excited for it. But again, another reason I'm very excited that I've been using my library more because I did not purchase this. So what a wonderful thing for me. Now, I am not quite sure what I want to read yet. I want a like, I want something short and fast-paced. I think I want a thriller or maybe this horror that I keep, like, it keeps being the second choice and then it's never the one that gets chosen. So that's sad for that book. But that one is A House with Good Bones. I have that as an option. I also have The Only Survivors by Miss Megan Miranda as an option. Uh, Megan Miranda doesn't really let me down, but her thrillers aren't exactly fast. Pace. And I have like two more weeks left on this hold. This one, I have a little bit less time than that, but I also don't know how fast paced it is. So it's like, what am I, what am I freaking doing, guys? Let's see what I have on my currently reading shelf. You're probably like, yeah, what if you actually finish the books you're reading? Trust me, I've already had that conversation with myself and I said no. So I have Coach by Devney Perry. I am still reading that, to be fair. And then I have A Memory Called Empire. I may keep going on with this. It's pretty interesting. And then I have A Day of Fallen Night, which I am now 56% of the way through. And we're just taking that one next. Okay, I'm not rushing through it. I just don't know what I want to read. So I might actually just not read anything for a little bit, maybe for today, just like not read anything. And then we can check in tomorrow and see what I want to do. For now, I'm going to go watch Emily D. Baker's live stream and maybe we'll come up with something to read. I'm also like, what if I just need like a YA thriller or no, not thriller. Oh, but maybe that was a slip, but maybe, but like maybe a YA fantasy or a YA thriller. Those tend to be faster paced. I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. Hi guys. So I wanted to update you because I just got a book in the mail from the publisher and it is Ruby Ramos Recipe for Success. Look how cute this is. Um, but not only is it a super cute YA summer romance, but it came with these three recipe cards that I can't focus on or probably cook. <laughs> But it came with, um, what is the one that I really, is this coffee, cafe cubano, choco flan with cherry garnish. I don't like cherry, chocolate cherry cookies. Ugh, I just won't make it with the cherries, but these are so cute. I love that. Cause y'all know how I feel about books that have recipes involved and baking involved. This has baking involved obviously, but the fact that there are recipe cards included is really cute. But also I just love details on YA books. I really do. I just feel like they get such nice colors and such nice, like, detailing. It's just so freaking cute. And I wanted to show you this because I just got it 
literally on my doorstep. So thank you to Wednesday Books. I also realized today is the day that Yellow Face by R.F. Kuang comes out. This may shock you. I've never read an R.F. Kuang. I have the popular trilogy that I really want to read. I just haven't started it yet. I need a month where I... I think I might just in June not do a TBR. Like we'll just do the books that I'm still on my TBR from the beginning part of the year that I just haven't read yet but they were on a TBR and then everything else is free game. We might do that. I don't really know what will happen in June. Something will occur. Um, but for Babel, I haven't... F I started it, but I was like, I need to read this when I have more brain power. And I'm just not having a lot of brain power lately. So that hasn't been picked back up. Also, with that book came these cookies that are vegan. Is it literally not going to focus? Like, why does my camera just decide to not focus anymore? They're vegan and gluten-free, which I think is pretty cool. So... Am I gonna try one? Yeah, obviously. Like, why wouldn't I? But the coach, let's talk about it. I'm 40% in and they've kissed, so I don't care anymore. Uh, that's just me as a person. That's just what I feel about romances. I do not like it to be even remotely fast paced, even, even a jog pace, even a light, brisk walk pace. I don't want that. I want a slow, meandering walk. That's what I want. And that was not this so 40 percent in that's already happened of course they also have a history so that's probably why but i was thinking maybe i'll just read this book read a little ku book not a whole lot of thoughts in my head kind of thing for the evening i don't know about all that because i was really excited about it and then that happened and then i got less excited about it because i'm like guys take your time i might continue with it while i watch some YouTube videos and see what I think. I'll obviously let you guys know. I like the atmosphere of this book. I like the characters. I like the writing style. I like everything about it. It was just, it's pacing. It's the pacing that I want differently. I'm also reading her, Devney Perry's other series, which is like a motorcycle club series, but they're not in a motorcycle club anymore. Like the motorcycle club isn't a thing, but they still have the vibes. So if I may speak to the vibes, the vibes are good. And I'm on the second book of that, and that one is A Marriage of Convenience, which I don't hate that trope. So maybe I need to go back to that. I don't really know what I need. I think I need to watch people reading. Like, I need to watch some reading vlogs and then build off of their hype for books. I think that's what I need to do. So we're going to do that now while I chuck a lug my liquid IV because I, I ate some food for lunch and then I'm drinking all that water and hopefully that's going to help me feel better because I just don't feel great like physically I don't know what happened but I'm like you better not have a headache because I will fight me <laughs> if I do and essentially make it worse but prove my point which is more important to me so yeah I'll I'll tell you you already know you already know the drill editing right now. Look at my little helper. Hey little one. This is just so cute. Oh my god, look at those big old ears. Chin chop. But yeah. This is gonna go up tomorrow. Thank God. Right bean. Hello everybody. So I have just finished my first coffee of the day. I am on sprints with the patrons and I wanted to update you guys on what the heck is going on reading wise. Let me make sure. Yes, this is the correct SD card. It's important to me. Um, I wanted to update you on my reading because I have placed A Day of Fallen Night down for another minute. I actually went and I bought the audiobook from Audible and I think that I'm going to listen to the audio while reading along with it starting tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to pick it up again today because I'm really not enjoying the pacing of this book. I think that the plot, the characters, and the writing is greatly improved since Priory. I'm really enjoying all those things, but I just do not think the pacing is good in this one to me. Um, it's, it's not that it's too slow per se, but it's too jarring between it being slower and being incredibly fast paced. Normally there's, you know, like a build up and it climax and we go back down. This is just like, it feels very like 
disjointed. I don't know, but I'm not loving the pacing, so it's making it really hard for me to get into the book. So with that being said, I had a couple holds at the library that I'll show you the rest of them later. But we're going to talk about the one that I picked up now um, because I was like, okay, I need something fast-paced to read. I don't know what I want, though. Um, Coach isn't working for me. Like, it's working for me, but not in that aspect. It's not going to be the fast-paced book that I want um, because I don't want a romance. So two thrillers that I was excited to get were ready and then I also requested A Kiss of Deception because I really want to read that entire author's that trilogy and then the Dance of Thieves and whatever the other one is or is it the Dance of whatever oh my god Ginger so uh I went to the library with my partner yesterday come here my goodness I went to the library with my partner yesterday to pick up said books uh and I picked up some new releases as well. One of them, Ginger, don't drink my coffee, you little... One of them being the new um, Bells novel by Danielle Clayton. Hi, Momo. And then the next one is Royal Blood. This is the one that I'm actually currently reading, and it is phenomenal. So this is about a girl who is the current king's daughter, illegitimately. And he has her go to London to spend the summer there and while she's there a murder occurs and she's kind of like it's pinned on her because it does look a little suspicious and her and one of the other people that she but friends are on a mission to solve it. So this kind of reminds me of Princess Diaries meets, although she knew she was the daughter. So it's not like it's she's finding that out. She knows when the book starts, but it's kind of like Princess Diaries meets A Good Girl's Guide to Murder because it's amateur sleuth solving things. And then she's a a princess, but she's not used to the world. So she's kind of like navigating that world too. It's, it's good. I'm really enjoying it so far. Um, I stayed up way too late past my bedtime last night and read half of it. I'm on page 177, chapter 20 already, and this is what I plan to read. I just finished editing my April reading wrap-up. That's donezo, so thank God. And I'm going to put my work computer away, and I'm going to just, just read this with my sweet little ginger who wants to sit right in front of me. I don't know what's going on. I think it's because my partner's in the office today, so she doesn't have a lap to take hold of. But, yeah. I also am going to make another coffee. So let's do that. And then we'll read. Uh, yay! There might be a bit of paper left under the pool of coffee. Try to remember what I wrote and you just laughed. You better have a thought, think it might last until it's done. Hello, everybody. I have had quite the head day, um, meaning specifically a headache. Man, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's weather. I don't know if it's just how cold this house is because it will not heat up. I don't know what's going on. My head hurts so bad. But it also could be that I drove like for two hours just a little bit ago to go pick up something but who knows who knows what it was my head just hurts a lot of time sometimes and that's fun love guessing but I still managed to finish royal blood and this was so freaking good oh my god this was exactly what I needed to read right now I am so like in the mood for fantasy and thrillers again but not adult or not long ones. I really, the more and more I read 300 page books and the more I watch 90 minute movies, I'm just like, this is the perfect length. This is the length we need to be. And I feel that way about this book. It was just barely over 330 pages. Perfect length, I think. The ending definitely left on a little cliffhanger for what's gonna happen next book, hopefully. So I'm excited about that. This really is truly Princess Diaries meets A Good Girl's Guide because they are solving crimes, solving mysteries within the royal family, but she's learning how to like be a princess at the same time. It's fantastic. I would highly, highly recommend. The writing style is great, very readable, very fast paced. 
very much enjoyed it. Now, I need to go figure out what I want to read next. I'm definitely in the mood for a physical book and probably another shorter one. I'm trying to like see, I think I might read The Towering Sky by Catherine McGee because that is the sci-fi gossip girl book that I really like, that series. And I read These Dazzling Heights or The Dazzling Heights, one of the two, earlier this year. Really enjoyed it. I love the first one too. I just only have the first two books, but I'm looking at it because it's up on my sci-fi YA shelf and I think I'm gonna grab that and read that. I know that's not a library book and it's not on my TBR but you know what's not on my mind? That. I don't care. Um, we're at the point where I just want to read what I want to read and that is the book that I am looking at currently. So I am going to go pick that up and read it. Yeah. Oh my god, hi. Um, welcome to the worst angle you've seen in your life. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, I, so I, first of all, you saw I got the book. And you saw I got my forehead out. Oh my god, don't look at it. If you look at it, you're a bully. I, oh, <laughs> let me just, just wing it out there. Um, I, I hate that phrasing. I got my fairy loot, adult fairy loot, I believe, in the mail. And I already knew what the book was because, hi, hello, this is the card. So like, yeah, call me Investor Gadget because I'm on the case. I hate it. <laughs> I love the naked cover of it. I do not like this edition at all. The sprayed edges are fine, but they're fairly plain. Um, I'm really glad I have the Waterstones edition. I'll just say that because that is the chosen one. But it is In the Lives of Puppets. Mr. TJ Clune. There are the sprayed edges. There's that thing. Um, here's where I like it. So we have some art. We have those. This is what I like. This is this is enjoyable. This is nice. I really love TJ Clune. Probably one of my favorite authors, to be honest. I really want to read all of his backlist right now. Um, but I don't love this edition. Like they said that they were doing their own edition, different cover and everything. And I just, I don't know. This looks like the Grand Canyon to me. Like it's, I don't like it. <laughs> also sidebar, this company, Earth Chimp, which is, this bag is so cute. They sent me this. So just to be clear, this is not an ad. This is not like a paid thing or anything. This is like whenever publishers will send you ARCs and you like read them to review them and like the trade-off is that you get a free book for your review. That thing, that's like this, like they just sent me this and they want me to review it and tell y'all what I think. So we're gonna make some protein smoothies before we go watch Vanderpump Rules finale and we'll be using this because it's vegan and gluten-free which is why I said yes when they reached out because those are the two things that we always have to look Four. and um, they don't have it in here. So that's super awesome. We are going to try it. This is the vanilla and I'll let you guys know what I think. I'll probably let you know in the morning to be honest because I'm probably gonna forget, but <laughs> I'll let you know how it goes. You'll see it in the B-roll. Mm, yeah. Happy Friday. Um, I don't know why I didn't update yesterday. Totally slipped the old noggin, slipped the mind. But um, I'm here today and I am quite chilly. Um, as I sit at my desk, I have my lovely Novelix Five Stars candle going. It smells like fall because it's the same scent as horror. And so I always think of 
fall when I think of that because that's when I usually burn it starting at summerween but I wanted the fall vibes now I am like such a beginning of the year and end of the year reader I've realized May through July I'm just like with reading I don't know why is anyone else like that like I start off the year and it's always January, February, and March are like solid reading months. April is iffy. This year it was solid. It was like 14, 15 books. And then May is like endless. I'm not talking about the number of books. I'm just talking about how much I want to read and how much time I spend reading is so different once I feel like May hits. Because also I think it's the fact that I've been reading this book for almost three months now. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm kind of over it. I like the book. I want to make that clear. I'm getting to the point though where I'm kind of upset that the pacing is taking me out of the story so much to the pa like to the point that I don't want to pick it up. And it's getting to the point that it's affecting my entire like experience reading the book because this pacing is just to me not good. Like I do not like it whatsoever. I just think that it is I don't I don't know what it is and part of me does wonder if I might just be a series person because I know that some people like only read standalones they do not read series or like the most they'll do is a duology but honestly as much as I liked Priory and as much as I'm enjoying this I don't think either book should be a standalone like I think they should be series if not just at least duologies because I just feel like I don't know part of me feels like this book and now I can't remember with Priory. Priory was my first Priory and The Way of Kings were my first two ever adult fantasy books that I read that were I feel fully in the adult fantasy category and I loved them both. They're both super long. I don't know now though how I would feel about Priory if I tried to reread it. I mean I have reread it with the book club on Patreon but now having read a lot more adult fantasy than just Sanderson I wonder how I'd feel because it kind of feels like this happens a lot at least to me in adult fantasy y'all don't come for me the longer the book it's like inherently viewed as more of an adult fantasy and it kind of strikes me as a quantity over quality thing sometimes and that's not again I'm not saying that this is not like a quality book. The writing is phenomenal. But there are so many things that happen, so many scenes that happen that I'm like, really? That did not need to be a chapter. I feel like we could have cut out a lot of this because unless you're going to expand on it a lot more, there's no reason to involve it. Do you know what I mean? I don't know if that makes sense, but it just feels like this is too long. It's just too long. And I honestly feel that way about so many books of they're just so long. I think I would be really hard pressed to find a fantasy book, adult, YA, middle grade, whatever, that needs to be a thousand pages. But it's easier for me to understand why this one is because it is a singular. Like it's only one book. There's nothing else behind it and there's nothing else in front of it. So it's like, I can kind of get it. I don't know. I hope any of that made sense. But today I am going to dedicate a lot of time to listening to the audiobook while just following along in this guy and getting some reading done. I think I might do some reading sprints with my patrons tonight after the work week has commenced. I did a little bit of editing this morning to look at this vlog and it's too short. I need at least 30 more minutes. So hopefully I made that goal. Y'all will have to let me know. But I think... I think I can. I really do feel like this book is like putting me into a slump so bad just because it's like nothing is happening in the book where I'm at and it's 60% so I feel like more things should be happening at 60%. I'm going in with an open mind, open heart, and I'm gonna hope that I end up liking this. I think the highest it would get, I don't think it's gonna be a five star for me. I just think that there's too many issues that I have with it for it to be a five star but it can be, <laughs> again, if I can speak to the vibes. It could be a five star vibe. It could be a five star feeling, world building, character development. I think those are five stars, but it the whole book I don't think would be five stars for me. 
The other one I'm reading is Undertaking of Heart and Mercy. I read more of it last night. I'm gonna have a completely spoiler-filled vlog of that one for Patreon because it's a Patreon book club pick for this month. And I am reading it on my little Kindle, but I kind of want to go grab the physical book and read that after I finish A Day of All Night. So that's the plan. I'm taking you with me and let's go do that. I totally forgot to update you on the book that I finished y'all. <laughs> LOL. So I finished reading Coach by Devin e. Perry and I can't remember in this vlog if I've already told you what it's about but if I did just hit that L button a couple times skip forward and you'll get to the review if you even care about the review itself. But this one is about a guy who was a football player and then a girl and they in college they had crushes on each other but he was dating someone else stuff happened he moved to go play in the um, NFL and then she kind of stayed at that school became an assistant director there and now he's moved back he stopped playing in the N uh, NFL moved back and is going to be a coach there Okay, got it. Great. So it's kind of like second chance. This one, I really liked it at the beginning. I, first of all, I want to say, I really like Devney Perry's writing. Like her writing is really good. It's somehow like cozy, but moody at the same time. I just really enjoy it. And I liked it. I like the setting. I like the kind of outdoorsy vibe that all her books have. I don't know a thing about Montana, but allegedly it's like that, at least in her books. So I enjoyed that and I like her characters as individuals, but there's something about when anything happens before the 50% mark of the book, anything romantical happens, like a kiss or anything like that, I'm like, well, I'm checked out. Cause it's just like, I don't care. I want the build up. And that's my problem with most romance books is all of that stuff happens too soon. And I don't care anymore because I'm like, I'm here for the tension and the angst. That's all I want. I want things to start happening around, honestly, if I had it my way, 80 to 90 percent. Not gonna lie. I don't care too much for the afterwards, the happily ever after, the epilogues of the world. I don't care at all, actually. It's not that I don't care too much. I don't care at all. <laughs> and I think that's why I really like Mariana Zapata, because it really is like the 85 to 90 percent mark they finally are like, okay, we're gonna be dating. And then, you know, you have the 5-10% left of the book that's kind of like the happily ever after. And that's just enough for me. Anymore, I'm like, cut it. Cut the cameras. So, yeah. With this one, I think that the beginning half was really good. The second half was not that great. I still enjoyed it. And I will continue to read more of her books. But... I just wish like pacing wise because I want to find a book that is under 400 pages as a romance that has slow burn pacing. If you have recommendations, let me know. I also really do think sometimes that I might just be a well, first of all, I do love romances when there's like royalty involved, the mafia, drama, things like that, like a drama romance. Love that. I what is it? Katie Evans has a book that I read where this guy is like a senator or whatever and he's running for president and that's there's a romance there. I like the idea of those. Like all of that I like I like it because it reminds me well first of all that reminds me of scandal, so mm. of course I'm gonna like it. I like all of those that are like not, you know, Terry Joe on the farm raising her chickens. And then why did Matt Matt from the Vampire Diaries came to mind? jump scare <laughs> but like that looks and I but the thing is I also do like small town but I like small town when it's like people that have come from big town <laughs> go to small town you know it's such specific scenarios KU always has these I just have to shift through a lot so I'm very specific with like contemporary but once it's fantasy romance I have two it's the new Chris Broadbent about the vampire king or whatever the heck and then there's one by Claire Sager I've been wanting to read her book but then also in this it's like a it's like a collab series where each author has a different fantasy romance love interest and plot and all of that but it's all in the same world so it's like in the same series but separate books you know what I'm saying I have the first two because they just came out and one is like a shifter and then the other one's a vampire 
And then Carissa Broadbent, I know I like her writing, but this other one, I was like, I like this cover. Let me buy it. So I did. So those two are on my Kindle. And so I'm thinking, again, once I finish this big old guy, I can just read whatever I want. And I also think June might be the month that we don't have a TBR. I don't know what video I would do instead. Maybe I could do like a check-in video and just go over all the books that I'm reading and library books that I have. But as far as it's like actual strict TBR goes, I don't know about that. I don't know if I want one. I might take off TBRs for like June and July and then get back into them in August because I'll want to be more intentional because there's going to be more new releases and, you know, spooky season's coming up. August is the start of spooky season. I'm already thinking about it in my head. Yeah, it's May 19th, but it's like three months out from spooky time starting. So I don't know about y'all, but I'm ready. Anyways, I'm also ready to stop talking because I need to like actually get things done. <laughs> so I'm going to do that and I will hopefully check in with you guys later. And hopefully I've made just so much progress that you're like, oh my god, this is the same day and you're checking your watch. Even though it won't be the same day for you, it'll be the past. But still, you know, I'm, big moves. Ooh. I still have to finish a little bit left of my coffee. And we might be making another one. Because I gotta make moves. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. Guys, happy evening <laughs> to you. It is 6.12 now. We've just had dinner. We went to the mailbox to check the mail because I did order some special editions off of Pango. So I will reveal those in a moment. But I wanted to give you a reading update and it's a very sad one. <laughs> because I am DNFing a day of fall at night. And I am just like, I'm not surprised with it. I'm very resigned to it, but I'm also a little bamboozled by it. Like, I don't know, I'm feeling a lot of what the heck feelings because I like every character in this. I like all the POVs. I'm invested in all of them. Literally the idea of picking this up again makes me want to scream because <laughs> it's so boring and nothing is happening. And like, I it, if this was my first dive into adult fantasy and I wasn't aware of like what the pacing could be, should be, might be, Maybe I would give more leniency to it. I've read enough for quite a few, quite a lot, that I know that this is just not working for me and I'm just not enjoying it and I'm just really sad about it. And I do stand by, I think if, I really hope there comes a point where there's not another one of these bricks in this world. I hope she creates a series, like a trilogy, even a duology, a quartet, something. But I do not think these are the best they could be when they're in this like length just one thick ass book like i think it needs to be broken up because i think while it's still slow as heck more should be and could be fleshed out if it was in a series so i'm just sad about it and i'm still thinking about it and not loving it but that's okay i i oh i did let me tell you real quick this absolutely is counting towards my goodreads goal um of the year i read 500 pages i'm dnfing this at 60 percent 500 pages in it's gonna count i will i don't care like it's that is so many pages it absolutely counts towards my goal so if you see that on goodreads yes you did because it counts towards my goal so dnf this finished coach it's been a week um I'm now reading The Undertaking of Heart and Mercy, which is the Cozy Cafe Patreon book club pick, and I'm just going to be reading that tonight, and I am liking that one. Update there, thank god. Five chapters in, I'm really liking it. The world building is, like, not good, but it's also not the main point, so it's more like the world building is vibe building, and that's fine. So speaking to the vibes, they're excellent. And I like the characters and I like the banter already. Chapter one, the banter was so good. It was so hostile. <laughs> I was like, yes, love this. Real life, literally would have walked away and been like assigned someone else, simply not me. Now, the book mail. So the first is a book that I have already read. That's why I felt comfy buying it. Um, but I've already read this book and I did have the two normal US editions, but I'm gonna be putting those up on Pango at some point because I have wanted these special editions. And at first, when they first came out, I was part of like, watching Illumicrate and all of that when these were coming out but I didn't like them for some reason when Illumicrate was selling them so I never bought them but then I, my friend has them and she showed me them on we were like on a FaceTime or on Sprints or something and I was like I actually kind of like those 
and I really like the spines specifically and they're gonna be on I have like this fairy loot oh it's this shelf right here you can see it it's got daughter of the moon goddess crown of feathers trilogy which I need to read an ember in the ashes quartet I need to read this woven kingdom the infinite threads like very pretty They've got all the shininess, the foil on the sides, and just the color scheme is very nice. So it's going to be on this shelf, but towards the end over here. And the first one is We Hunt the Flame. So this is a duology, and I think that they are, I mean, they're gorgeous books. They definitely are that, and underneath is really pretty too. But I think that these are, she's a hunter, and he's, yeah, he's the Prince of Death. Hello. I am going to reread this so that I can read the sequel, but this is what kind of started me on, I don't know, just getting back into YA fantasy, I guess, because I was like, oh, this is what we're writing now? Okay. Now, hold on. Let me go back. Let me, <laughs> let me get, back, get back into the genre because it's, it's really good. And once I've, you know, I didn't like this art style really at first, but it's grown on me. I like it now. And I, oh, I don't love this one as much, like, of the actual cover, but the spine and the color scheme, are, I love them. Let me turn you a little bit so you can see. Look at them. But look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. I don't know who that man is. So I did read We Hunt the Flame when it first came out, so I don't remember a diddly dang thing about it, except for a cave scene, which I feel like that's a staple in the community at this point. Uh, but I'm definitely going to reread it. I'm excited to reread it. I am in such a mood to reread some more YA fantasy. And then also what I, this is what I really want to read is a lot of the YA fantasy that I've been getting from book boxes, specifically fairy loot. I have so, that I need to read. I want to read the crown of feathers trilogy. And then also what is the other one? Ah, oh, the sequel to the Jasmine Throne is another one I want to read. I want to finish up the Devabad trilogy. And then this is an arc that I have. Like, I feel free. Like, I feel like I have been <laughs> released from Time Out that A Day of Fall and Night put me in. Mentally and reading Ali. Because now I'm like, every book, every book, every book should be read by me at this exact moment. Um, but this is one that I got in the mail from the publisher. Which, the fact that Orbit, like, wants to send me a book... <laughs> Not really the right one because I always forget to read these on time. I want to read this because it looks so good. And I love a story of a lost heir and this surrounds a lost heir. Like, are you freaking kidding me? It re like, that's the thing. There's really not, I don't know. Actually, I've not read this, so I can't even say. But this is an adult fantasy. This Woven Kingdom is a YA fantasy. And that one has um, a lost heir in it as well as the main character. I also just really love This Woven Kingdom, so I want everyone to read it. So that was my agenda push for the day. But uh, this series is called The Scorched Throne. That is a wonderful title. <laughs> oh my god. This is like on the back. Let me just read you. At 10 years old, the heir of Jassad fled a massacre that consumed her entire family. At 15, she buried her first body. At 20, her carefully crafted lies are starting to crumble. What does that mean? I don't know. I want to find out. It's like not, it's just shy of 500 pages, which listen, I think I'm starting to have thoughts about the length of books. Romances, why do you need to be over 300 pages? Explain, please. Fantasies, 500 is about a good, about a good one. About a good. I also think I might just not be the person, maybe I just don't like standalone. I think I, well, I actually know that I don't like standalone because even in my romances i prefer series like the bromance book club series or the twisted series where or the um the brown sisters like where it's a series and they follow different characters but they're all intertwangled that's what i like so i've also been thinking about finishing up the shatter me series and putting that vlog out don't know why that's been on the mind but i've also been thinking about anakin a lot so I think there's something there. Did I tell you on my fan cast? We'll get into it later. Anyways, so I am going to go read The Undertaking of Heart of Mercy. I might even dabble in watching some Housewives of Beverly Hills because what's more common than rich women screaming at each other? Nothing. That's pretty calming because at least I don't look like that on TV. <laughs> okay, I also wanted to show that I got new nails in and this is the nail otters. Nails by Esme. I she has an Instagram. She also has a website that you can find. But I get these are medium almond, and I'm very excited for this set. So I'm going to listen to. Actually, where's my phone? 
This is what I'm currently listening to <laughs> right now. But I'm gonna listen to the rest of this while I prep my nails, put these on, and then we will get started on reading. That is the actual plan now. And here are the nails. Also, my natural nails, just so y'all know, don't say anything. But they are a little weird shaped, not gonna lie. They, well, they're weird shaped when you put on fake nails, so. I did the best I could. I think they look really cute. I really like the design and the colors and everything. And then the other hand, it looks the same. But anyways, let's get to reading now. Yes, please.
Something for me. Then he kept walking on down the road. Hello, everybody. Happy Saturday. <laughs> Jake's ready for his close up. So I am still reading The Undertaking of Heart and Mercy. I have gotten a little bit further. I got to chapter nine, so I'm almost like a hundred pages in. And it's cute, I'm liking it, I'm enjoying it, but it's not like a super gripping book, I guess. Like it's just, it's just okay. Like I'm just here for the ride, which is fine. I don't need it to be like show stopping or anything like that. But I am in such a mood. I was just talking to one of my friends. I'm in such a mood for YA fantasy. Like that's all I really wanna read right now. And I keep thinking, okay, I need to read Gideon the Ninth. I wanna read that, but that's more spacey. Is that thunder <laughs> or a fighter jet? What's that noise? I just got back actually also from, well, I got back from sleeping, okay? I did take a nap. We watched Fast 10 this morning and that was the most unhinged movie. And I have a lot of thoughts about it, but also I don't feel like any of those thoughts are worth talking about because it's Fast and Furious, you know what I mean? Moving on. So I think I want to go read a YA fantasy. I was either thinking of continuing with The Wicked King which is a vlog I'm rereading all of that for, so I would be doing that. Or I wanna read the sequel to These Hollow Vows, which I think is These Twisted Bonds. That's a possibility. Or there was something else, what else was there? I don't remember what the other option was, but there was another one. But I think it's between those two. Oh, I was also thinking of just literally rereading Ektar. But I don't know if I want to read Akhtar right now. I think I might read that over the summer because also House of Flame and Shadow is coming out allegedly next year, like early next year. So I kind of want to read those closer to then. That's what's happening right now in my brain. I am still 
chipping away at this, but I'm really more into the YA fantasy mood. I want drama. I want the tea. Um, I think I might need to reread these hollow vows only because I don't really remember everything. Although to be quite honest with you, it's a very typical YA fantasy. So I don't know if I really need to remember all the details that well. Um, I think I can recall, I think I can recall enough cause it was not, there weren't any plot twists that I was like, you know what I mean? There were plot twists that I guessed and that I liked, but they weren't groundbreaking. So I think I may, I think I might on this bare re spooky night. We will make it a spooky night. I'm gonna burn my leaves candle while we read a fantasy. We just gotta decide which one. I think I'm gonna go with these twisted bonds. Is that what it's called? I don't know. That one. I think I'm gonna go with that one. We'll just start it. We'll see where it is. If I don't continue with it, then I'll continue reading this because I need to for the book club. But yeah, that's the plan. Stan. Okay. <laughs> Hello guys, happy Sunday, oh goodness. Um, just got back from the grocery store and running some errands and I wanted to give you a little bit of a grocery haul before I put it all away. So let's do a very quick one, just really quick. So here is the goods. This is the thing I'm most excited about is this, honestly, is a little expensive to me, um, coffee beans, but they're Southern weather, milk, chocolate, plum, candied walnuts, juicy citrus oil. I don't know how it's gonna be, but this is a new brand that I haven't tried yet, so I'll let you know. These, I'm obsessed with. I don't buy them every week because they are um, kind of pricey, to be honest, but it says heart healthy, and I'm working on that, so slay. Um, and then also, we got these two creamers to try. I've never tried nut pods, but I wanted to because I've started putting creamer in my espresso in the morning alongside a little bit of oat milk. So I'm gonna try this out. And I'm excited, especially because there's zero sugar in it, but it is flavored. So we got cinnamon swirl and French vanilla. And then a lot of this stuff, we got just like fruits and stuff and veggies. Then also these to try. I'm not gonna show you like the fruit and vegetables because I feel like those are boring and I put most of them away already. But these are like random snacks I wanted to try. These are some cereals my partner likes. I could not tell you what we're about to do with these, but I'm assuming dinner. I don't know what this is. It's not mine, but it's cute though. This is what I want to show you. This popcorn is so good. And then this is the same brand, I think, but we just got this version to try. These are gonna be snacks honestly a lot of these snacks are for watching vanderpump rules reunion this week and then this i have not tried but looks good to me down here are our favorite veggie burgers so they're so freaking good y'all but yeah that's it just like a little mini haul yay mainly these are just like the snacks that we got to try but yeah there you go Hello. Oh, Jake's getting prepared. Oh my god, he was literally laying down sleeping right before I turned the camera on and now he's like, ready for our vlog update. Let's go. My shirt matches my current read. So I did end up picking up these Twisted Bonds last night and this was the best move I could have made. I am so in the mood for just a fast-paced fantasy that's really just for the fun and the vibes of it all, you know? So that's what I'm doing. Um, I only got to chapter three last night so that's page 26 so i'll definitely be reading this into next week's vlog as well but what is the first book about you may ask and i would say to that you're asking such good questions i mean let me just <laughs> i don't know okay there's a human girl and then there's like a world of fey there's the seely and the unseely and she ends up in the seely court for whatever reason and i won't say anything else 
for fear of it being a spoiler. I don't know if it is. It could be a lie. Don't know. I don't know if this author, or not this author, this artist on the back of here has just done, who is it? I think that it's, they've done a lot of, um, Sarah Janet's art as well in Throne of Glass and Akatar. So if we want to say hi to all of our characters, we can say hi to Rowan, aka Sebastian. And then there's the main girly. I don't think she looks like anyone to me. And then, oh yes, that would be long-haired Reese or Asriel, whichever one fits. And they do act the exact same. Except I would say Sebastian is more like Golden Retriever energy than Rowan from what I can remember in the first book. And then we have, of course, Broody McDark Prince of the Night. Not the Night Court, the Unsealed Court. Oops, <laughs> that's a slip. But it's not called the Night Court in here. I do think there's a Shadow Court though. <laughs> Anyways, I think it's fun. Like, I don't really care if it's similar to Be Honest. Is there gonna be a whole lot of differences in fae books? Not typically, especially if it's like a fae romance. I just think it's so funny how they are described and they look so similar in the art as two characters that I like. Well, no, I like Rowan. Brees, I'm gonna reread Akatar and see if I can get there, but I don't know if I like him. <laughs> I don't think I do. But I just think it's so funny that they look, when I took the dust cover off and I looked at it, I was like, and I have seen vlogs where people say the same thing, so I know I'm not crazy. <laughs> It just makes me laugh, but I do think that this is like such a beautiful cover. I first really liked the US one, but it has like art on it of the actual characters. And then I realized, I think I like this better. I don't know why. It's just, it's a lot more detail, but it's still minimalistic compared to it. I don't know. There's, I'm growing out of liking characters on the covers. I'm enjoying having something else, whatever that may be, except on romances that I can handle. But yeah, I've only read the three, two, three chapters. So two chapters really. And our girl is just like literally on the run. What's she running from? I don't know. I read the last book two years ago. I don't remember. But was I gonna reread that book? Um, probably should have, but I'm not going to. I do this a lot where I just jump back in and I eventually remember it or I remember enough. Truly what I would need to remember is the ending of the first book. And I don't want to then just only read the ending of the first book. So anyways, I'm doing fine without knowing it. I can kind of piece together what's happened. It's it's kind of flushing it out a little bit for us, almost as if they knew I wasn't going to reread it, which is totally fine. But yeah, that is the plan for today. I think the emoji for today is going to be a blue heart to match the book and the shirt. And yeah, I think I'm gonna probably round out the vlog here though, because I do need to like kind of start winding down, shower, get stuff ready for the week, you know, all those good things. So yeah, I think, yeah, I think that's, yeah. I think we're just gonna end it here with this little update. Um, So until I see you next time, we're doing a new outro. What do I want it to be? Until I see you next time, have a good day on purpose be kind and live laugh love <laughs> i don't know if we'll keep the live laugh love in but i kind of want to i kind of want to i'll see you guys later wake, hear the birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun See you, but